Hello, I'm Joe Wren. Voters have been coming in to the 21 polling stations in Bloomington to cast their ballots for the primary today. The municipal election includes races for council and mayor. Officials say some polling locations could get up to 300 voters, while others may only get a few. It's a really, really slow day today. Um, at the IMU, I know they've only had like four votes. It's probably up to six by now, but uh, it can really, it just really depends. Definitely what's happening on the national scene has caused me to think more about the local elections. So it's a good time to talk to voters, see if they have any questions, last minute concerns, and, and I also just like to thank people for voting. Hamilton says Bloomington's st statistics for voting can look disproportionately low because many registered college students leave town for the summer before casting a ballot. Now you can join the WFIU WTIU news team throughout the night for live coverage of the May primary election. And Indiana Governor Eric Holcomb has until tomorrow to decide whether to sign a bill allowing underground carbon storage near Terre Haute into law. A company could go ahead with plans for potentially storing 50 million metric tons of carbon dioxide underground under a bill approved by state legislators. The bill restricts such carbon storage in Indiana to that site and calls for a special legislative committee to review the process. Now here's a quick check of the weather forecast for the rest of tonight, mostly cloudy. Overnight lows falling to 58 degrees in the five-day forecast tomorrow. Rain in store, a 70% chance of thunderstorms. Highs though up to 82 degrees, 71 more rain on Thursday than a slight chance of rain showers on Friday. Highs up to 63 degrees. We have more news on our website. It's all at WTIUnews.org and stay tuned for live primary coverage throughout the night.